All right, that should about do it. It's crazy to think I've been president for eight years. But man, is it going to be nice to go back to Mount Vernon. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider, George? I'm sure everyone would understand if you changed your mind. It would be the most elaborate April Fool's prank of all time. Huh? Huh? Hamilton, it's September. You could just say you're really late this year, or you're just really early for next year. Trust me, I can spin this to make it seem like... No, I'm going home. You and Madison convinced me to be the president last time, and I reluctantly agreed. But enough is enough. I have done my duty, and now I'm heading back to my farm. Come on, Hamilton. Let George go home. He clearly doesn't want to be president anymore. Very well. Now, before I leave, remind me again what I told both of you. If you don't brush your teeth, you'll end up with hillbilly teeth like mine. <sighs> What's the other thing I told you about? Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? Gentlemen. Fine, don't make political parties. And why not? Because they divide the nation and run the risk of stripping people of their rights. But I think you should- No. But- No. They- That's big fat. Nope. Could- Nada. Help. No. Why are you like this? You're not my dad. So what are you not going to do? Make political parties. You promise? Pinky promise. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, Washington is no longer president, so it's time, you know, the Democratic Republicans take over the presidency. Didn't George literally just explain to you that political parties are bad and advised you not to create them? Do you want that nut job Hamilton and his goons as president? So, what will be our party's political platform? Seriously? I'm still here. I don't leave for another couple months. Jefferson, this is unacceptable. Hamilton, can you believe- If we don't get someone from the Federalist Party in the White House, how can we expect this country to be successful? I'm telling you, the Federalist Party is the party of, um, uh, well, this is awkward. Please tell me you're joking. I thought you were leaving. I'm leaving in a couple months. We've been over this. Oh. How do you feel about your vice president, John Adams, running under the Federalist Party for president? What the- Yeah, that's my reaction too. He's not radical enough, but I guess the other Federalist members like him because he's more- Moderate. Done. Coming to you live from Philadelphia, it's Triple J News. We are anxiously awaiting the results from the 1796 presidential elections. You know, Johnny, I have never seen such a close election in all my years. That's because there really hasn't been any elections in this country's history, you dimwit. This coming from the guy who yesterday asked me if a rat eating a chicken is cannibalism. I hate you. Rest assured, the feeling is mutual. It, uh, it appears we have some breaking news. Uh, this just in that, in fact, John Adams has been elected the second president of the United States of America. Well, a big congratulations to Mr. Adams on a campaign run well, a much-deserved victory to the Fredulous Party. I think you mean Federalist Party, Jimmy. Nope, the Fredulous Party. It's all about giving people named Fred a promotion instead of acknowledging my accomplishments, Dad. Well, it appears someone has some unresolved issues from their childhood. Apparently, people aren't interested in buying square wheels because they're, and I quote, impractical and useless this just in this is getting uncomfortable one of our reporters is with john adams right now let's send it over to jerry jerryson mr adams how does it feel to be elected as the next president of the united states of america well let me first say it's an honor that the american people have decided to elect me as their new president i'm just excited for what vice president pickney and i will accomplish while in office Mr. Adams, are you aware that Mr. Pickney is trailing Mr. Jefferson by almost 10 electoral votes? Say what now? 
Yes, this just in. We are receiving more breaking news. It appears that Thomas Jefferson, the Democratic Republican candidate, will be, in fact, the next vice president of the United States. What an interesting turn of events. Any clue how this could be? Well, you uncultured swine, anyone who knows how to read would know the Constitution states whoever gains the most electoral votes becomes president and whoever gains the second most votes becomes the vice president. That seems like a pretty glaring flaw, Jimmy. Why would you have two people from different political parties serving as president and vice president? I don't know, Johnny. It makes as much sense as putting a guy who wanted to destroy the National Bank on the $20 bill. Well, nonetheless, Adam is going to be the second president, and Jefferson is going to be the second vice president. Uh, I'm receiving word that our reporter Jerry Jerryson is with Thomas Jefferson right now. We're going to send it to him live. Mr. Jefferson, as the new vice president of the United States, how do you feel about Mr. Adams being elected president, thus defeating you in this political election? I'm just here, so I don't get fined. Follow-up question, Mr. Jefferson. Do you think that since you and the president have different political leanings, that this could lead to some type of conflict? I'm just here so I don't get fined. Final question, Mr. Jefferson. Do you plan on undermining President Adams? For example, like when he puts forward federal laws, are you going to encourage states to instead actually favor state laws and to basically disregard federal laws? Care to comment? I'm just here so I don't get fined. Ah, uh, Thomas Jefferson, does that man have a way with words or what? You know, when he said, I'm just here so I don't get fined, I truly felt like he was talking to me about literally being at that podium so as to avoid a monetary penalty. Just poetic, truly poetic. Oh. Okay, yep, we're going to cut to Jerry Jerryson, who's managed to get a hold of former President George Washington. Mr. Washington, what are your thoughts about the election that just took place? Well, I warned a couple of individuals that this might happen if political parties were formed, and how political parties create more problems than solutions. Final question for you here, Mr. Washington. Care to elaborate on the comments you made earlier today, saying, Ha ha, nanana boo boo. These fools out here be taking L's. I told you political parties was a bad idea. Can you respond to that? I don't know where you heard those comments, but let the record show. That was definitely me saying that. All right, guys, I got a farm to get back to. Mwah. Have fun with your mess, Jefferson and Hamilton. Well, there you have it, folks. The election of 1796 has come to a close, and I'm still just as confused when we started this broadcast. It's probably because you have the attention span of a goldfish, Johnny. And you have the personality of a rotten glass of milk. Why do we work together? No clue. Well, I'm Johnny Johnerson. And I'm Jimmy Jimerson. We'll see you next time for more Triple J News coverage.